Yo, what's up you guys? Hope you guys have a wonderful day. And today, I'll be doing a car review. So this is my 2005 RSX. It's a base model, but it's a manual. See, it's five-speed manual. Apparently, the five-speed manual base models were actually pretty rare to like even have because people say that 70 to 75% of them were actually made in automatic transmissions. So I got like a rare gem that people say. I really don't see it that way because you know I've been daily driving. So I originally bought this car for a thousand three hundred, and it had a hundred sixty thousand miles, and now it has two hundred. <laughs> so I originally bought this car for a thousand three hundred dollars, and it had a hundred sixty thousand miles two and a half years ago. Now it has two hundred twenty thousand miles. I've honestly never had any um, problems with this car. The only thing that ever went wrong was the safety neutral switch went out. And also, I was just learning how to drive manual when I first bought it. So, of course, I went through a clutch. Because when you start driving manual, you start doing stupid things. You're like, oh, yeah, I'm fast and the furious. Look at me. And then me and my friends, we went behind a warehouse and we did a little stupid drag race. Okay, that just sounds so stupid. When it was completely stock and I destroyed the clutch. So I replaced the clutch with a Skunk 2 clutch kit, and yeah, it's a little more heavier than the average little Honda clutch, but it feels good. I love it. As you can see, it's not the most beautiful thing from the outside. Sort of beat the crap, if you honestly ask me. But before you guys see all these little dents and stupid stuff, like the hood, got this got destroyed, this got destroyed, and then this got destroyed. I didn't do none of this. I didn't even do any of this at all. So what happened right here, the original owner actually did this right here, but it wasn't that bad. So let me explain. So around maybe four months of owning it, some scumbag hit my car in a parking lot, and I don't even know who it was, I was inside the store, and I came outside, and there's paint all over it, and I was just so irritated, like, bruh, if you're gonna hit and run someone's car, bruh, you're the biggest dick in the planet. Like, let's be real. If you're gonna hit and run someone's car, you're not a man. You're a little puss. You got no balls. And then, this also happened with the hit and run. And then, right here, a deer ran out in front of my car. And right here is from the same deer. This is all from the deer. Then you see this right here. Another hit and run. Complete whack. Stupid. I was in school in the school parking lot and someone hit my car and ran. So all of this right here was sticking out. Look. I don't know if you can see but there's a little screw in there holding it in right now. See, it causes the rear bumper not to be lined up like it should be. And the person before me did this. And then yesterday, some stupid old lady was like, how to say it? I was parked in the parking lot. I was opening up my door, getting out of my car, and she completely just ran into my door yesterday. As you can see, the RSX, the body is not clean at all. Dude, it got destroyed. Oh my God. And then, dude, this thing that sucks is, I didn't even cause none of this. Like, people are horrible. Like, I don't want to sound stupid, but like, let's be real. A deer ran out in front of me, okay? That can happen to anybody. That's not caused because of bad driving. That's just because of one of God's stupid little creatures. But yeah, man, this car has never let me down. It's always been running good. It's always done everything it's supposed to do. Um, I've even drove this thing about three and a half miles in the middle of the mountains on an off-road like mud trail. Drove it through creeks and it's still running. I'm about to roll the clip of me driving through the creek. And with this car, I've gone through many long, long, long road trips and it still works. Like I said, once again, never let me down. Um, I've had lots of special memories in here with friends, with family, 
this was my first two-door car so I felt cool and now I gotta say two-door cars are very annoying and I want a four-door when I first bought this car it was super quiet super slow it was boring my dad's like dude this car is so like beyond boring he's like there's no way this can get you in any kind of trouble now the car has a little bit of mods to it and it's a little bit faster it's still slow but a little bit faster and you know it's more fun all right you guys are about to hear how loud and annoying this car can be okay look this is barely going anywhere that is it's crazy it's not the fastest thing like I said 0 to 60 happens about 5.3 seconds yes I want something faster but for now you know this will totally do the job oh yeah this thing backfires like a lot listen like that's me not trying But yeah, um, I would have to say the RS6, uh, the base model, I'd say is nothing very special. They only come with 160 horsepower stock, and eh, not that exciting. I think it's like zero to 60, maybe like seven seconds for the base models. Uh, kind of boring. But I would say, if you're gonna get a RSX, I would definitely recommend the Type S. The Type S's. Um, the ones before 2006 came with 200 horsepower and then the 2006 ones came up with 210 horsepower I would definitely recommend this this right here as a Fantastic first grade car for somebody because the amount of reliability in this thing is absolutely insane If you're trying to get in the street scene, I would say don't get a base model RSX like me I only bought this because I was in high school. I was sort of broke and I wanted to get in the street scene, like, you know, like the car meet scene and all that stuff. And this was the only thing that I could really afford. And let's be real, that's an awesome deal. $1,300, 160,000 miles. Can't go wrong with that. It's by no means beautiful at all. But let me tell you, it's done a hell of a job for me. And it's been there for me. It's gotten me back and forth to work no matter what. It has never broke down on me. For these cars, um, the manual transmission, second gear is known for grinding. And also the power steering pumps, they go out left and right. I already changed mine two times in the past two years, two and a half years. But that's just something simple and easy. You know, it's not really that much of a hassle. But would I recommend you buying an RSX? Most definitely. This thing has such incredible handling. Like in the mountains it may not be that fun in a straight line but as soon as you take this thing on a mountain road oh my god bro it's just like a miata just with a little bit more power yeah this was my very first car video please let me know do you want more and i think i'm gonna go and film a how to drive manual for you guys because let's be real no one knows how to drive manual and if you know how to drive manual bro your car is not gonna get stolen anyways I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, subscribe, comment, and peace.